And if you want monoclonal antibodies, Florida has made it easy. The state has spent weeks boosting access to the COVID treatment to cut record hospitalizations. The governor calling it the best thing that officials can do. Tonight, Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders looks at whether that's true. Florida nurse Sarah Keene can't say enough good about monoclonal antibodies. It was very quick and simple. It's after the health care worker received the treatment herself. It made me feel 100% better fairly quickly. Uh, and I got it on Tuesday and I went back to work the next Monday. When given early, monoclonals boost immune response to the virus. It can reduce symptoms and chance of hospitalization by 70%. This is probably the best thing that we can do. The treatment central to DeSantis' effort to ease filling hospitals. He's opened at least 16 distribution sites and patients can book online and receive treatment without prescription or cost. It can be a game changer if you get it done early. Secretary Simone Marstiller heads Florida's Agency for Healthcare Administration. She's helping coordinate the effort with hopes of bringing hospitals relief soon. And so we anticipate, though I don't, I don't know if anyone has, you know, specifically charted it, um, but we certainly hope to see that the numbers will, e will decline even further um, as we go into, you know, late summer, early fall. The effort is getting high praise, including from political rivals like the Biden administration. I'll certainly applaud the governor there. That's following the science. But there are critics. Lawmakers and physicians tell us the governor is too focused on treatment instead of prevention. They're urging a vaccination incentive program to boost rates or at least more full-throated advocacy. We are doing a lot. He is doing a lot. Um, whatever criticism he is receiving, in my opinion, is unfair. The secretary pushing back, citing DeSantis' effort to vaccinate seniors and continued messaging that shots prevent severe illness. I see him flying across the state, talking about these things. He's concerned. He's doing exactly what he believes needs to be done. For now, Florida can expect the monoclonal access and awareness campaign to continue. I would definitely recommend it. Which people like Keene can attest is a lifesaver. The way to sign up for these treatments is pretty easy. Log on to the web, head to www.patientportalfl.com. Those as young as 12 are eligible. That is the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.